starting our new season for 2013. So I know you had a one for 2012. You did some, did some detoxing and all this good stuff of your spirit so you can get ready for 2013 and input some new things. We've got, oh man, the guests that we've got today, Zion Gospel Singers. They're going to bless us. And before they bless us, I want to just give you some nuggets of encouragement. Um, when I was, let's see, I think it was New Year's Eve, I was detoxing myself. I was trying to think back over all the things that I needed to get rid of or consider getting rid of for 2012. And some of the things that I want to share with you that we all should have gotten rid of was jealousy, envy, and just uh, depression. Get rid of, you should have gotten rid of that in 2012. So we can get ready for 2013 and make a major impact for Christ, right? So now since you've gotten rid of all this stuff, you got your detox. Now in 2013, we are going to make an impact for Christ. 2013. And the only way, you say, well, okay, impact, what is she talking about? We can influence somebody. We can just make an impression on somebody that's positive. So in order to do that, we need to, need to encourage each other. I mean, if you see somebody having a struggle, why would you just sit back and look at them and frown and, and make a, you know, just make fun of them? No, no, don't do that. Encourage them. Perhaps you've gone through something that can help them. And then we need to uh, sometimes uh, delegate, empower someone else with something that you're used to doing all the time. Give somebody else a chance to do that. And then the next E I want to discuss with you right now is edify. We need to come together to edify each other. Why would you have a gift that's of smiling? What is your gift? I mean, are you uh, gentleness? It's the way we sort of like deliver to people that sometimes that can encourage them to want to be a Christian or encourage them to want to stay in the world. Now, if I see you uh, looking all mean and like you don't want to be bothered, what makes you think that I would want to come and be a Christian in the church where you go. You got to learn how to do, to deliver what you want to receive. So now the way you're going to do that is to stick with the Lord, read your word, get it implanted in your heart. Then you will be able to go to someone else and tell them how God has blessed you. We got to set the example for the youth. We got to set the example for each other. So I just want to encourage you today to think about 2013, a new year, a new opportunity, and go there. Now, over in Galatians 5 and 1, it says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Wow, what does that mean? What does it mean to you? Be not entangled in bondage and old things that you used to do that were holding you back, where you could not express love and, and encouraging others to do the right thing. We've got to learn today, start it today, getting yourself together, start it today, get out of bondage, leave that stuff behind you, and press forward towards the mark, and you can do that. And when your faith get a little low, go over to, uh, what is it, Hebrews. 11 and 1, and it tells us right here, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, comma, y'all, evidence of things not seen. A lot of people say, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's not what it's saying. God don't need no help. So don't put that and the evidence. No, no, the evidence, period. He's got it taken care of. Believe him. Trust him. Hang in there with the Lord. Read that word. Read that word. I gotta just, I can't express that enough. We must feed ourselves with the word. That, this is your map right here. It will show you and tell you what you need to do in order to walk this walk. Yes, it's a narrow walk. But as you walk it and as you stay lined up with God want you to do, you will be successful. And I just want to encourage each and every one of you to continue to watch Jazz of Ease, Gospel Mix, and I will continue to bring you some encouraging words, some great guests. So you take care. God bless. Bye-bye. Take me out, James. All right. And now we are back with going to jam this song. And they say, you know, whenever you're looking at this show, they're going to really be a blessing. And now I'm going to start out with you. And your name, ma'am? 
My name is Renee Clements. Renee Clements. <laughs> and you? I am Jometra. You can call me Joe Pineset. Excuse me? Pineset. I like that. Okay. And you remember Sheila? Oh, Sheila Chapman. <laughs> I know Sheila. And you're the newest member in the group? Yes, ma'am. Well, my name is Lisey McAdams. McAdams. I got all these rich names. Y'all yeah, yeah, noticed that? And I was like, my name is Da 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 Jones. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's rich, man. Yeah. They're going to make some money. They don't already have all that money. We will see that. Praise the Lord. Because I'm going to be right there with them trying to borrow some. But I'm just so happy to have you guys on the show, man. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. it's been a while. And I mean, watch the different things you've been oh, doing. I said, I'm just going to take a chance. He's the one. Dan's the one. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you thank you, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me a little bit about the group. How long have you guys been singing together? Um, actually, we've been singing together for four, going to be five years this year. Really? Five years this year, and um, God has done some amazing and wonderful things in my life. Wonderful, wonderful. And, wonderful. and uh, Nisi McAdams is the newest. Okay. Woman, and she's the newest mm -hmm. addition to the group, and mm -hmm. she's been with us, what, about eight months now? Almost, oh, almost a year. year. Almost Since a year. Since she's been in, so well, you didn't realize it's been that long. That long. Oh, wow. You know, um, everybody, you know, Joe Meacher and Sheila is my blood sister. So. Really? I thought they told me it was a sis two sisters in it. So, I know you, Sheila. I didn't know you had a sister. Yes. <laughs> we have another sister beside her, too. So okay. Sister, so. Well, I feel at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> now, how did you all come up with the name? Sorry. And the way you spell it. I love that. Uh oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Was it a typographical error and y'all just no, kept it? No, actually, it wasn't. I, actually, I, I prayed about it and I mm -hmm. told Joe Mitchell, it was just me and Joe Mitchell on the phone. And I said, Joe Mitchell, I need one name. Mm -hmm. That's going to just uh, take us and describe who we really right. are. And, she, and we was going through on the internet just looking and looking. So we came and she said, mm -hmm. and, what is that through the Bible? Yeah, we okay. was looking in the Bible, was looking, you know, different <laughs> Greeks and all, right. and and we looked at it and I, she said, "What about Zion?" And we were coming around. Oh my God, that's good. I say, and it kind of stuck out. So I say, "That's the name right there." So I said, mm -hmm. "So she said, we." I said, "I don't want to spell it no Z I O N." Uh -huh. I said, "We need a name that's just going to stand out." Mm -hmm. And and the spelling and she we started looking again and I mm -hmm. said, and we switched it around, you know, looking and she said, "Well." My what about nephew's this? name is uh, Zion. Really? And he spells it Z I Y O. Y O. So, mm -hmm. Now that's different. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. But that, that's where we kind of got it from. Very good. I like it. Because I was like, Z? I said, well, maybe I'm spelling it wrong. And I was like, okay. Then <laughs> <laughs> you came up on the internet. I was like, okay, all right then. Well, um, hmm. are all of you from Houston? Yes. Yes. Well. Um, no, not her. I won't. I won't say from you. Sure. But basically, you've been a long be life. Oh. I was born on Galveston Island, oh, so yeah. I'm gonna represent Galveston, y'all. <laughs> I got to. You I'm gonna start in now, but yes. I'm gonna represent Gal Galveston, Texas. Y'all, y'all watching? Galveston, Galveston is here. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! All right. All right. Sheila, All right. Sheila is gonna represent Mississippi. All right. Miss Amen. 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 No, That's just she. Just she. My dad is from Mississippi. I'm from Houston. <laughs> yes, yes, well, I would tell you where I'm from, but I think it's about two people left. Okay. I'm from uh, Abana, Texas. Ooh. Abana, See? Look. <laughs> Abana, Texas. And when you say Abana, Texas, okay. you really know how it is. You say you're from Abana. But I'm so when you close your baby. eyes. Cleveland, Shepherd. So you when know. you close your eyes, you don't went through. You, you there. So you have to be careful. Okay. That's what a cold story. I'm gonna take y'all up there with me. So, you, so you tell oh, it. Oh, so right. you're saying like the, mm. the um, county courthouse and all of this, it's, and, and, and all the grocery side. stores all in one little section, and the police station. <laughs> 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 We're not even big enough to have it next door. Oh, no. right. so leave us alone. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so when so the mail, so when the mailman come through, <laughs> they just yell out. Right. Oh, we have. Yeah, got y'all mail. You send the kids. We got to go in. Wow. You know they're wrong. <laughs> they are wrong. You know, I found some ladies as crazy like me. It's all right. It's all right. That's okay. No. Anywho, <laughs> I'm happy to have y'all. I'm not tired. That's what I get from. But anyway, that's okay. I'm going I'm to look y'all up. I'm going to program together, take you up to the country. You'll be like, dang. 
We have okay. a country. Uh huh. So Wayne's girl. Wayne's girl. Let's go. So that we won't have no connection. We'll be to glad to be on the no <laughs> to, Nothing will work. No social cam. <laughs> no social cam. Look at what she's saying. No social cam. I don't know. No Facebook. No Twitter. Wow. I don't know. We 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 come along. Wow. Well, praise the Lord. We basically say Shepherd Texas. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. oh, but if you go to the house, it's even gone. But the spot where I really grew up, you might not have internet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. It's we're okay. gonna we're gonna it's move okay. right along. That's yeah. right. <laughs> uh, what have you guys got coming up? Well, um, we have a lot of things coming up this really? year. Um, God has really been moving in our ministry and, and really taking us places we've never been before. Oh, yes. And um, I know for sure that our fifth anniversary celebration will be coming up on May 25th and 26th. Okay. So um, we're excited about that and really looking forward to all of the Houston community and abroad to come mm -hmm. out and celebrate with us. I heard through the grapevine you had a guest coming in from Mississippi. Yes, yes. Tupelo, Tupelo, Mississippi. Tupelo, Mississippi. Tupelo, will be Mississippi. In the Amen. House. Praise the Lord. Yes. All um, right, then. Do we want to say who? You can say who. Okay, well, the uh, new converted voices from Tupelo, wow. Mississippi will be in the house. They are awesome. award winners. Um, mm -hmm. They actually won, I believe, the Gold Cup Award last year. Yes, They're uh, two-time Rhythm of Gospel mm -hmm. Award winners. Yes. And they are, are really a blessing. I believe they won the Luther Barnes Classic yes, last year. So mm -hmm. they are awesome. They've been around uh, for about... 19 years. Yeah, we're going to have to so, get um, Y'all got the connections. Yes, oh, yeah. We can I want to have them just come on up here in the studio. Oh, hey, gotcha. I want to so, praise the Lord. Y'all be looking at the Divine oh, Connections. Connection. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Well, I'm just excited. Do you have children that are in the entertainment world? Or just well, you got some I, example. I have um, my daughter. Oh, um, really? She's saying 22 year old now. Wow. 22. You're you about 18 years old. You got a 22 year old. Praise God. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My 22 um, wow. year old, she, um, she sings. And wow. She's on the praise team at the church with me. And she goes out and she actually sings um, with um, Chester D.T. Ball. Wonderful. She's one of his backup singers or whatever. Oh. So, and she's she branching on out there. She's branching on out there? Yeah. To bring her on up there. Yeah, she would love to, on. girl. Excellent. All right, then. And she just released a single, right? Yeah, she has a single. She has a single. Well, you had to bring her with you. Oh, yeah, she's um, awesome. Yeah, she's going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and you do me out, too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I like this. See, we're going to be a great union mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're going to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, That's yes. what it's all about, right? It's, it's called divine connection. That's Amen. Amen. I like that. That's I like exactly it. what it is. Amen. I have to talk to y'all. Just show you, man. Praise the Lord. Praise well, the Lord. anyway, we're, well, I'm just happy to have you guys here with me. Well, and uh, right. you have any questions for me that's not embarrassing? <laughs> How long you been doing your teaching? Well, in my room or on <laughs> So you would do it, you would do it, I was doing this long time ago. You would do it, 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 you would do and bring people and give them a chance because that's, that's how I feel like people have forgotten me. Okay, wow. so that's how this show really came about. Wow. And then he just blessed it to branch out into different other things. Exactly. So mm -hmm. it's been a while, but when he was ready for it to be manifested, mm -hmm. I was yes. like, uh -uh. but when he's ready, you gotta walk on in. Oh, that's, that's right. right. That's okay. Right. So it's been a while in my head, and James just brought it to the. And praise the Lord. For the James Anderson Productions. Woo! Amen. Woo! And then there's, anyway, anyway. I guess I'll sign on up. We're going to come back. We're going to let y'all listen to a little music. We'll be back, okay? We're just going to let the Lord have his way. I just feel like having church in the studio. Is that all right? Say when there's two or three gathered in his name, we'll be in, in the midst. So it's two or three of us in here, and I believe we're going to have a little church. But I know we have a prize waiting for us.
talking about no problems. I'm talking about that starry crown and everything like that. And you get to walk the streets of pain from God. Do I have anybody in the house that believe that this evening? Swim not to the street. 